Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to seven projects that cover things. So the first project that I'm going to show you is a soap dispenser cover right here. This was made with worsted weight yarn and you start it from the bottom and then once you establish the rows, the rounds along the sides, it's the same stitch all the way up and then there's a little um, shell round on the top and then the little tie with the cherries on it. So that's uh, worsted weight yarn, very easy skill. And then the next one is a can cover. So this would fit like regular soda cans or even the skinny cans that you see right here. It's pretty skinny. Um, so anyway, that's a nice little gift, especially like for Father's Day or something, but you could do them in all different colors. And then this one is a bottle cover, and this is very, very stretchy, like I could even put this mason jar inside of this. So you could use this um, for any size water container, and this is great for when you go on hikes, which I do sometimes, not as much as I would need to. But anyway, um, this is very, very easy. It's a great beginner project also, and this is started at the bottom with uh, three rounds of double crochet. And then you just do a netting stitch all the way up and then you chain and then work back on the chain for the strap. So then we're also going to show you how to make a little hat that's single crochet stitches that are done in the back loop. So that would be to cover a head. <laughs> so then there is a toilet paper topper to cover your toilet paper. And that started at the top and then work down um, straight on the rounds on the side. And then here's a mason jar cover for the lid, a lid cover. This looks like it's a sport weight yarn. And you just do several rounds of lace and then um, thread the ribbon through to tie it. This makes great um, covers for uh, jars, like if you're going to give gifts of honey or whatever. Um, then the last project is this cute little mason jar cover, or it could be any jar cover. And then um, this is really easy. Started from the bottom, a shell stitch, and then this makes an, an adorable little um, vase. Or if you just take this out and you have like the lid on there, um, it'd be a great gift too. So all seven of these projects are in different videos. And right now, Christina is going to show you how to make these on a close-up. And the links to everything are listed below. And thank you very much for watching. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this uh, soap holder. You just put your average uh, hand soap right down in there. It's got a little tie at the top. Uh, so obviously you'll need a good bit of white yarn and just a little bit of green and red for the cherries here. And this was made using a size, uh, size I crochet hook. Um, but there is the gauge is listed on the pattern so be sure to check that before you begin and uh, make sure that it comes out about right. Um, the only other thing you'll need is a yarn needle to weave in your ends once you're done. Alright let's get started. You'll begin by taking your main color uh, which is white and chaining 11 just like I've got here. Then you're going to work five double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So we'll, we'll see one, two, three, there's my fourth chain right there, so I'll yarn over, insert into the stitch, grab a loop, pull it through, there's three loops on my hook at this point, I'll yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, so there's one double crochet, I need a total of five, and then we're also going to count those chains we skipped as a double crochet as well, so including that we'll need a total of six, so including that turning chain I've got four right now, and here's my last one. All right, all worked into the same chain there. In the next six chain stitches, I'm going to do one double crochet each. So that's one in this one, two, three, four, five, and six, and you'll notice that that leaves us with just one chain left. 
and in that chain you're going to work six double crochets as well so it kind of mirrors what we did on this side so just yarn over go right into that stitch and work your six double crochets you may find uh, since this is nearest our slip knot as you work all these stitches into it that last chain stitch may want to kind of stretch out a little bit it's fine if it does I've got a trick to kind of tighten it back up which I will show you as soon as I get all these in here five and six so mine didn't stretch out too much but if yours does just grab the uh, end of your starting tail and just give it a little tug and it'll snug that right up now we're going to be working in the unused loops of our starting chain um, when we worked into the chain I only worked through one loop which leaves two loops left on each side on the other side um, so I'm going to double crochet in the next six and you can look and see here here's my first double crochet and there's those two loops so I'm just going to kind of mirror my first side I'll yarn over go right into that hole and work my double crochet same thing here there's my double crochet there's where I worked into it there's my two strands go underneath both those strands and double crochet so let's see I think that was two three four five and six is my last one I'm going to join with a slip stitch to my first double crochet now that's actually the chain three here so I'm just going to take my hook go into the top chain there just like that grab a loop pull it through pull it through the loop already on my hook and you've got uh, this little oval which is the base of your uh, soap dispenser for round two go ahead and chain one and for this we're going to work in the back loops only when you look at a stitch here we usually work under both of these loops today we're going to go right down in the middle and only work through the back one leaving this front one here unworked so uh, you'll start the round by chaining one single crochet in the same stitch as joining in the next stitch we'll do a double crochet so yarn over work in the back loop only so go kind of right down in the middle of those two so there's only one loop there pull through double crochet and then the next one we're going to do a single still working only in the back loops then a double and we'll repeat that around alternating single and double crochet stitches and then join with a slip stitch when you get back, back to the beginning so I'm going to finish round two then I'll come back and show you how to continue on to round three once you have joined round two then you're ready to move on to round three we'll start by chaining three and again we're going to count that as a double crochet then real um, and we're working in both loops now so you can go ahead and go under both loops which is probably the way you're used to doing it um, we're going to single crochet on top of the double crochet so there's my double crochet right there just go right on top of it work a single and then you're going to double crochet on top of the single crochet and you'll repeat that around so next I'll do a single on top of a double then I've got a double on top of a single etc all the way around for round three join with a slip stitch uh, at the end uh, round four is pretty much the same thing you'll start with a single crochet that time but again you'll go all the way around um, with a double on top of a single single on top of a double etc and that's actually what you're going to do uh, from now until round 16 and that's going to be the majority of your little soap cover here so um, just continue working doubles on top of singles singles on top of doubles and I will come back and show you round 17 which is where things get a little bit different so here's the uh, soap cover at the end of round 16 look at this great uh, texture that we've created here with our single and double crochets uh, so we only have a couple rounds left round 17 is the eyelet round this is the round that you'll weave your uh, tie in later but for now just go ahead and chain one single crochet in the same stitch as joining then chain one skip the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch 
single crochet in the next stitch, and so on around. So you'll create these little uh, little windows here, and like I said, that's what we'll weave our uh, tie through later. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this round, then I'll come back and show you round 18. At the end of round 17, to go ahead and just join that with a slip stitch like I've done here. Then for round 18, you'll chain one single crochet in the same stitches joining. Chain three, two, three, single crochet in the next chain one space right here. Chain three, single crochet in the single crochet. chain three, single crochet in the chain one space. So you'll just repeat this around uh, chain three and single crochet in the single crochets and in the chain one spaces. It'll give you a little bit of this kind of ridge here. So I'll finish doing that. I'm going to come back and show you the end of round 18 because it's a little something different. Uh, so I'll show you the end of round 18, then round 19 uh, will be our last round and we'll be ready to finish this off. So here I am at the end of round 18. I just did my last single crochet in a chain one space. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do a half double crochet on top of the first single crochet of this round. So I'll yarn over, go to the top of that single, grab a loop and pull it through. I have three loops on my hook at this point. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three of them. And what that does is put my yarn in the middle of one of these loops. So when I start the next one, we'll be offset. So to start the next one, chain one single crochet in this loop that you just made here, so just go right underneath yourself and single crochet. Then you'll chain three, single crochet in the next loop, chain three, single crochet in the next loop, etc. all the way around, and then when you get back to the beginning, just uh, go ahead and join that with a slip stitch, then you can finish off your white and weave in your ends. The other things you'll need uh, for this project, you'll need to take some green yarn and you're going to just do a chain uh, about 70 chains long. That's about, I don't know, maybe 16, 20 inches, something like that. Um, and once you've got that, you're going to weave it through round 17, which was the eyelet round. So as you look at your finished project, you've got this row of loops, you've got this row of loops, and the row under it is your eyelet round. So just go ahead and take this and weave it right through. You can use your fingers if uh, you want. You can use a crochet hook to kind of help pull that through and you'll just wind that through all the way around. The last thing you'll need to do is make two cherries. I've got one here and you sew them onto the ends of your green um, and they hang down. So to make those go ahead and get your red yarn and you'll start by chaining four and then you'll join it with a slip stitch to form a ring. So take your hook, go into that first chain closest to your slip knot there, grab a loop and pull it through, pull it through the loop already on your hook and you've made a nice little ring you can work into now. So we'll chain two and then work 12 double crochets all into this ring. So just yarn over, go right in the middle like that and double crochet. So we want a total of 12 of these. The cherry is only one round. Uh, it's really easy. It won't take you but just a couple of minutes. And then, as I said, uh, leave a long enough end for sewing. And you'll just sew it right onto the other end of your green uh, tie. As I'm finishing up, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this project, you can certainly ask them down in the comments. Uh, in the description, you'll find the links to the pattern uh, and everything you'll need for this project. Let's see how many doubles is that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three more doubles. It's a lot of doubles to fit into this small space, but I promise you can do it. That should be 11 and 12, and then we'll end with a half double crochet, which is yarn over, 
pull loop through. You've got three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those. And then just slip stitch that to the beginning chain two. Leave a nice long end for sewing and that's your cherry. So it'll look a little something. I've got to finish this up but hopefully that gives you an idea of what your finished project is going to look like. Thanks for watching guys! And this is the third part um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.